Ah, where am I today? Can you figure it out? Mm. Where am I today? What's that? Who's that up there? Is that Christopher Columbus? Columbus Circle. Pow. Lunatic left. They wanted to take it down. Christopher Columbus is a racist. You, you haven't heard? It's a lunatic left, right? So I'm up here in Columbus Circle. I want to talk about the man who broke the world record for the marathon. Pow. Holy smokes. The world record for the marathon. Fastest man alive is amongst us. Right over there is fake news, by the way. Do you ever see the windows? That's where CNN's uh, fake news assault comes out of. Time Warner Building. The teeth of the snake. It's not the brain of the snake. It's the teeth of the snake. If it's loud, it's because there's water. There's a water fountain faucet over here. To get away from the water. The sound of water. Purification. <laughs> So, um, so that's Columbus Circle. That's Trump Tower right there. Pow, all on the same corner. Trump. Ah, he's got the biggest penis in the room. His building is bigger than all of them. Bigger than Time Warner. Oh, they got two. It's like two balls. But look how big Trump's penis is. Ah, he's got the edge. I think Trump's got the edge on the on the on the height, <laughs> on the distance. So my name is Marcus Conti reporting. Why am I up at Columbus Circle? Because there's an interesting story that I want to talk about, and I, I know it's. I'll tie it into politics in a second. But essentially, a man. His name is uh, Uled. I don't, I'm not. It's K Kenyan name. Uled Kipyang. Ulad Kipyong from Kenya has shattered the world record for the marathon. Fucking amazing, right? Kenyan guy, 33 years old, right? He's already won the London Marathon. He won Berlin. But he's never been to Boston or New York. I wonder why. I wonder why. So I'm going to walk over to um, uh, New York... The New York Brave has passed. Woo! Day in New York, another day, another day, another day. So, 33-year-old Kenyan man, across the street before I get hit, breaks the world record for the marathon. Tw two hours, one minute, and 40 seconds. Wow, holy shit. That's like a four, sub four minute mile, right? Sub four minute mile, right? And uh, so he, he did this in Berlin under ideal conditions. What's it have to do with politics? Well, has a lot to do with politics. The, the hum, human endurance, that's what I want to talk about. The ability to push oneself to, to, to an unbelievable limit, right? They're about to break the two hour mark for the marathon. 26.2 miles, incredible, right? I put the video down below, you could see him. He's a skinny little Kenyan man. You know, it's part of the culture there, it's part of the the way of life of running in Kenya. They run to school, they run <laughs> they run from lions. <laughs> I think that's a myth. But anyway, there's something there's something there that makes it uh, spectacular. I bet you these guys, these guys are all Africans. Yeah. Hey man. Oh yeah. America, very good. Very good country. <laughs> so so is it real? Was it, was it real? Did we really see what we saw? Okay, so I'll talk about that in a second. But right where, where I am, I'm going to tell you where I am, right? So this is Columbus Circle, and if you've ever watched the New York City Marathon, this is the last leg of the New York City Marathon. Right over there, they come flying around the corner, and they come this way, bang, 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 and they head down this path right here. It's the last quarter mile of the New York City Marathon. Ah, what a great way to talk about a guy just broke the world record won't come to New York or Boston won't come to but he hasn't he hasn't been invited or hasn't come here yet right 
So anyway, this is the last leg of the New York Marathon. It's about a quarter of a mile to the finish line. I'm gonna walk up there. I'll take a I'll take a walk up there. So they come running down this path. <sighs> Not even breathing. <sighs> Ooh, I'm gonna win. <laughs> Got my running shoes on. I actually ran the New York City Marathon. I bet you didn't. I bet you that you wouldn't believe that if I told you. I ran it in. Uh, I was 19 years old, 1980 something, right? Three hours, 44 minutes. Not bad, right? Not bad. So, so what does this have to do with anything, right? What, what the hell am I talking about? Why am I? Why, why do we care about a guy breaking the, the endurance record? <clears throat> I, oh yeah, do we accept the results, right? Is it real? Did a man really go that far, that fast? Yeah, we got a camera. We saw him do it, right? It's verifiable. We have verifiable evidence that a man has run two hours, one minute, and, thir and 40 seconds for the marathon. Sub five minute pace, 447, 450, some, some shit like that. You do the math at 26.2 miles, right? It's unbelievable, right? If I, if I ran to the, to the end of this, that's about an eight or, no, at about an eight or nine minute mile, I'd be out of breath and I'd be moving t uh, about a half the speed as this guy did for 26 miles. An amazing feat. An amazing human, an amazing human uh, benchmark has been passed. It's like the five minute mile, you remember that? Nobody thought they could do it. Now they go four minutes, they go under four minutes, 3, 330, 340, crazy. But we accept the results because we saw those results, right? We have, we have video evidence that the guy started at the starting line. He ran the whole race. He didn't cheat. Right? So we accept those results. I'll give you a tour of New York while we're here. So that's, uh, you remember Elf? You remember in the movie, uh, was it that Christmas story with Elf? That's Elf Bridge right there, right? You remember when they, when they ran over there and fucking, yeah, it was calling the Colin or whatever. It's the Elf Bridge. Shot the movie over there. I'll show you the Ghostbusters building too. So we're walking up the west side of uh, Manhattan right now in Central Park. Uh, so, so what what I'm trying to the, the, here's the tie-in, right? It, it I was very clear on the, on the way here, and now I, I, my fucking brain is fried. <laughs> it usually happens. But the the point is this: that we just saw, we see fake elections with our own eyes. We see corporate oligarchical power seizing our nation right we see it with our own eyes right now on cnn fake news is plugging a story about about a guy who worked for the president and 10 years ago did something did something bad and that's why trump should be impeached and they don't talk about the, they don't talk about any of the, the the real problems facing americans right one in seven people on food stamps. 80% of the country living paycheck to pay paycheck. 65% right? of the country doesn't have $400 to their name. It's object poverty. 60% of the country is suffering. Right? But they're not talking about that. They're talking about a boom and the, the economy is improving. The, the jobless claims numbers are down. Right? Trump... Liquid Jesus is fixing everything. You see, we told you so, right? And at the same time, there's people chasing after Q. The secret, the, they, they know this corruption. They know it's fixed. They know the whole thing is rigged. So they look for people like Q, right? Ah, oh, Q is going to, he's going to reveal the, you know, it's, it's someone right to the, you know, sitting to the right of Trump. And he's going to expose all that corruption, right? Right? He's going to expose it, right? He's going to tell us all what's going on, right? And, and everything's going to be okay after that. But meanwhile, Trump is tweeting out. He's telling you the truth right, right in front of your face. But you still choose to look at the secret cue, the liquid Jesus. And in our own community, what do we have? We have people that are adamant about repeating the same facts over and over again. Right? We have commentators that talk endlessly for hours about Comey and McCabe and, and strokes and 
and and and Mueller and the Mueller probe and Rosenstein and Rosenstein and Rosenstein and all these jackoffs are somehow going to get corralled up and put in prison and Hillary Clinton's going to get handcuffed in orange vest and we're all going to see her hang at the you know you're going to get some 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 lucky guy is going to get to kick the chair out from under Hillary Clinton's f feet while she hangs on the noose and we all get to see her hang in the public square right right it's a fairy tale right what's real right what's real is a guy just breaks the world record Right? He runs the marathon, he puts, it all, he puts his all into it, and he fucking breaks the world record for the marathon. Wow, what a feat. Right? Right? See, what, see what happens when people focus on, one, on, on, the, on, the, on the objective? I mean, I, 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 would, I, would vow, I would venture that that guy doesn't know much more about anything in the world other than running. I mean, that's his whole life, right? <laughs> My joystick is going crazy here. Hold on a second. There we go. <laughs> it's got a mind of its own. It's like a penis. <laughs> I say go this way, it goes that way. <laughs> the fucking penis stick. So anyway, I'm approaching the end of the, the finish line. I don't know how many minutes was that. I'm already 10 minutes in. Ooh. Try to wrap it up. But we have we have rigged elections. Uh, uh, you know, other evidence. Just recently, I think it was yesterday, uh, Jared Beck, the lead attorney in the DNC fraud lawsuit, said that uh, the the three appellates, the three appellate division judges, the circuit judges in the in the case, one of them rec recused himself from the case. September 25, recused himself. Took him out. Took his. All right. Why? What does that What does that have to do with anything? Right. Because now they buy time. You got midterm elections. They're just trying to, they don't want that shit to be in the news. They don't want anybody talking about it. They want you thinking about how evil Mueller was and how bad Trump is and all this other shit, right? Check out, uh, this is uh, Sheep Meadow. <laughs> you guys going crazy over there. So that's Sheep Meadow. That's where you used to see the, uh, the big outdoor concerts in New York. Give you a better view of it. There's actually real sheep that used to be here. That's why they call it sheep meadow. <laughs> Who would have known, right? They used to have actual sheep. They would graze, uh, graze the lawn, and they they would come from a tavern on the green right there. It used to be a barn or something. What else can I show you? You want to see the Ghostbusters building? Remember when Ghostbusters? You remember that shit? You remember that movie when fucking they were they were they were down in, in Central Park and. And a big blob was on top of the building. You remember that, you remember that scene? That's a fucking great scene, right? It's an awesome scene, right? I'll show you the building. See? That's it. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. That's the Ghostbusters building. A lot of history in New York. It's the city I live in. Right? So this is Tavern on the Green. This is the end of the New York City Marathon. The finish line is right here. Elude Kipang. Kipang. Will you come to New York and, and win? As you're, we're inviting you. We want you here. Your buddy Kip Sang. <laughs> the other Kenyan. You guys are dominating the game, man. Fucking awesome. Right? You guys are totally awesome. We need a revolution in this country. Right? We have fake elections. We see it. We see a race, and we see evidence of of a race, and and statistics, and and pushing the human endurance, and we also see evidence of a corporate oligarchy pushing people to the max, the ma total 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 mind fuck, where people don't they don't believe what they're seeing anymore, they're just overworked, living in fear, living on food stamps, all the things that I talked about, and they deny that it's going on. They put faith in, in, in mystery. Mr. Trump is going to save me. I don't know. Q is going to reveal the answer, right? The corruption is going to come crumbling down, and everybody is going to, everybody's going to win, except you know. The, right? It's been said that revolution doesn't come, come, come. 
you know, via nonviolent means, revolution is always bloody. I don't know, I disagree with that. Gandhi proved it with India that you can do it. That if, if people come together peaceably and lay down their... They, they, stop, they, they stop contributing. We will not take this tea. Take your tea and shove it. With Gandhi, it was, we will make our own salt from the ocean. Take your salt, Britain, and shove it. Right? That those kind of actions do have, are very, very powerful. But everyone has to be on the same page. Right? There's a corporate media that's, that's it's the teeth of the oligarchy. And they're confusing the shit out of people. And we have to fight that. We have to fight back and we have to expose that, even as a community, within this community of uh, videographers or whatever we call us or whatever I call I don't even know what I am. I'm an opinion guy. Also running for the for Senate. In the collapse, I will take that Senate seat. Is there a collapse coming? It does look like that. I know I know the Trump people that you don't agree, you think that everything is fine and and if you if you actually create a fair and just system where corporations are brought back down to size, their power is relinquished, that somehow you're, you're shunting innovation and development and research, and that's simply not the case. What you're getting is a broken form of research and development and, and manipulation. Where you want it is in the hands of the people. But we don't have that anymore because small businesses have been ev eviscerated. Right? Everything is corporate. Do as you're told. Put your head down, get in your cubicle, and shut the hell up and do your job. Right? Right? That's where we're at. That's, that's where we're at right now. Right? I'm going to get run over by the runners. <laughs> run over by runners. So, the, so that's the finish line of the New York City Marathon. Pow! And they come right here. And it ends right by the light, I think. I think that's the actual finish line right here. Hats off to the, to the man from Kenya. Hats off to the man from Kenya who has broken the world record. The man is, the man is real. The man, that's a real feat. That's a, a real human story right there. Real human story, man. No, no bullshit. No, no gaslighting there. That guy did it. Is he on steroids? I don't know. You should check it out. Because that shit is just crazy. How the hell did you do that shit? The fucking guy ran 26 miles at... You know, in, in, in almost, in less two hours, that's insane. That's fucking insane, man. You can't run 10 minutes like, you can't run for fucking 20 feet like that. <laughs> All right, I kept you guys too long. It's already 17 minutes in. Tavern on the green, I'm going to go in there and use the toilet. <laughs> Maybe get another iced coffee. My hands are still shaking from the last one. My name is Marcus Conti, reporting from New York City, Central Park. Finish line of the New York City Marathon. Candidate for the United States Senate. Peace out.